Hello and welcome back on the channel. So it gets um, much more difficult to find topics that are interesting and that I want to show on the channel. And um, the problem with that is that yeah, I'm using Hyperland and it just works in the configuration that I have. And um, but I've uh, got another topic here um, that I want to show you, and that's I've experimented a little bit with. Um, Plasma and GNOME uh, in the last days, and I found an interesting configuration uh, which I want to show you how you can configure it. So this is GNOME here, and I'm not using Pop Shell for the tiling. Um, so uh, yeah, you can do it um, uh, with some extensions in GNOME that you get this uh, look and feel here that I'm showing at the moment. And um, it's really quite um, uh, nice um, to have this look and feel, and it's uh, auto tiling without pop shell. So how uh, did I do that? That's the thing I want to show you um, today in this video, and um, I hope it's an idea perhaps um, that you like and uh, that you want to pick up perhaps. So um, yeah, let's start with this uh, small tutorial here, how you can configure GNOME to look and work like this. So the whole installation is really easy. Um, I looked up uh, how Manjaro is doing the conversion for, uh, for the tiling. And uh, from that, I've got that idea to do it here in the same way. What they are doing is, and it's not so complicated, they are just um, using some uh, GNOME extensions to do the whole um, setup. And um, what I've done is um, I've installed Extension Manager so that I can um, yeah, look up and install the GNOME extensions. It's the easiest way, in my opinion. And uh, Extension Manager, you can just um, install normally on Arch. And then you need a different extensions for GNOME. The first thing here that I've got is an um, Arc menu. That's the menu that you um, have seen here. And this is the starter that I'm using. So to get this type of uh, starting menu, um, you have to configure Arc menu to, to use this um, setup. Um, so where is it? Um, so it's in German here, but um, the options you will find in English, it's at the same positions. So I've got here the uh, starter um, option and I'm using the runner setup. So um, Arc menu uh, gives you a lot of um, yeah, options to configure the menu. So for example, here you can have uh, this classic Arc menu. Um, but what I want to have is uh, this runner version so that it's like using um, Rofi or Wofi um, uh, in the setup. So, and if I now use the supper key, I've already get the starter option here. And then what we are using is we're using the extension Forge. Forge um, does the whole tiling. Um, here, this improvements thing has um, the opportunity to give um, the the look of the top bar, um, and the space bar is here that you um, get the uh, desktops shown. So what I will do is I just activate all of them. So I get here the uh, the spaces shown how you um, yeah normally uh, see them on a um, tiling window manager. And uh, yeah, the, uh, now we've got everything running. It's just that uh, four extensions that give me the whole um, tiling experience here. And you configure this tiling setup here in, um, in this menu here. So there are options to configure the tiling to your liking. So I've done it so that um, when I've got a single window here that he hides the gaps, but it's quite nice to, uh, you have some options here to configure the look um, how you want it uh, to have it. And um, then you can just with the super and, uh, yeah, the, super and the um, numbers, you can switch between the desktops and uh, yeah, you can um, from hotkeys open applications 
all the other things that you can do is if you um uh, super um con uh, nee, super and uh, shift uh, for example here i can um move the windows to another space like you would normally assume you can do um yeah and so i can for example here chrome i've installed as a flat pack and um, if i'm now um, pushing it here to a four he it takes me with it and i'm now here on the desktop so it's a normal tiling behavior and uh, yeah with this whole setup in my opinion gnome um it's quite usable um it's a little bit more heavy on my machine because i'm using this external drive as i'm using hyperland but perhaps uh, it's something for you and uh, you've got your normal gnome setup but uh, can use auto tiling on it so perhaps you want to give it a try thank you for watching and bye